Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Solvrain, and I'll be taking a look at Crystals of Time, now developed by RVL uh, Games and published by Exosyphon Studios. You can pick this up for £1.59, but believe me, you can get it for free in a lot of places. No one really wants this thing. It was uh, released in June 2014, and it's picked up a reputation as being one of the worst hidden object games. Not so much like Sinister City, which has a so bad it's good element. This is just bad, apparently. Um, apparently it suffers from bad story, poor um, consistency with item sizes, not being able to click on things properly because the hitboxes are awful, uh, g massive game-breaking bugs. Just looking at the um, forums, there's a, there a couple of bugs, especially if you try to use the area map. <laughs> And it will actually completely destroy the game. As in, you have to uninstall it. And then find all the all the temporary files, delete those, reinstall it, and then hope it works. So, fingers crossed, I can actually make it through the game. For some reason, it has profiles, as you can see here. But, um, I, I honestly don't know why. <laughs> Couldn't they just make a normal save load system? Now, the, 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 the excuse for the plot is uh, we're playing Ashley Ford, uh, who's looking for a father, sorry, looking for her father, and wishes to solve the mystery of the Free Oak Mansion. And you sort of get a little bit of information here. It just pops up very quickly. You can't really read it that well. Um, and let's hope you get a bit more of that information in game, because if that's the only way you get any history about the characters, that's going to be awful in game design terms. No options wise, there's practically nothing. There's full screen, there's a nice, actually rather attractive slider bar for sound and music, but there's no resolution options. And I must admit, the artwork does look nice, but I've been informed there's absolutely no animations in this game. So let's get into this. Oh, uh, let's go with hard. There's no Steam achievements, uh, only Steam cards, so I could go for a normal. Hmm, hard or normal? Yeah, let's go for it. And yet, in the uh, main menu description, it says you're a treasure hunter. Also, being a thief isn't exactly a hobby. It's either something you do out of desperation, or, uh, you know, you do it because you've got problems. Also, why is these why why are these sentences so short? Right, he was all over the world exploring unseen. You know what I mean? He's he has been all over the world, finding many precious items. God, this is going to be painful. Wow, it's been 10 years and you've only now just started looking for his stuff and looking for him? Ugh. Yeah. Uh, I liked the visual layout of the hood. Oh yeah, one of the bugs was the journal would overwrite itself. Alright, that's animated but none of, nothing else is. Uh, yeah, don't click on that. What's this? I've been told there's no animations, but it's like you've got these little fireflies. Which one's a skip button? Um, why would that be a bad thing? Is the house currently owned? Let me see. Lock, lock by some kind of mechanism. Yes, it's called a lock. Okay. There's a missing jam. Oh, I see. You know. How do I get out? Alright, that's not exactly clear. 
all this paper. Can you check? Oh. Can I look at the said no uh, it said old newspaper? I could hell, I am unfit as hell, and I could probably climb that wall. Okay. I thought I was playing this on hard. Why is there sparklies? Random crashed uh, thing. Ah! I was told there was no animations this game. The background's animation. Maybe it means the characters. Alright, well, we, what we're we looking at here. Wait, has he got a negative boot for clicking the wrong thing? I like the fact that everything you need is sort of already listed, so none of this you have to go through it in order. Garbage. Alright, I should actually be reading what I need. Alright, um, so I've got the fire extinguisher. I'm not sure why I needed that. Why is there a, what's that a bow? Okay. Blankets. Lunch. Uh, might not be the lunchbox. Coins, doll, gauge, chisel, tire pump. There's a click back. There's just so much random junk in the back of this place. There's a journal there. I clicked the coins before and it didn't accept that. Bizarre. So, it feels like I'm just getting rid of the really weird stuff that's not supposed to be here. So, I'll just click round. What the hell is that? Uh oh. Okay, crowbar. Crowbar, crowbar, crowbar. I feel like I'm blind because I. There we go. I was hidden a bit up there. Doll? That's not a doll. Those have proper names. Yeah, I found a chisel, but. No need for the fuse box. on my way through that. Oh! Okay, it's apparently remarkably easy to click through the game. It's not much to interact with. So, I'm just gonna quickly check how much time I've already taken. Wait, that's new. Why would you think you'd need to chisel the bricks? I'm assuming I chisel the bricks. Yes. Um. Ha oh my god, I, I was clicking randomly to see which bit I needed to chisel as well. That makes no sense, there's nothing on that wall that suggests you need to do that. Okay, now this is pretty damn simple. I'm guessing we have to line up with each of those. So yellows are done, blues are done, just greens and red. There we go. Oh no. Almost, but not quite. No one in their right mind would have that as a lock to their gates. My immersion's already pretty much gone. Yeah, yeah, there's a big obvious slab missing there. Okay, so I can go to the right. I bet it will take me back to the gate. No, it will not. I I clicked to go left to go back outside. You folks found some pliers. Awesome. Apparently something missing there. Why would I take a random piano key off this? That's one of those, you know, makes no sense in contents. 
Okay, we go back. Random hanging spider. Actually, this is actually very pretty. What happens with the music? That was a bowling ball, not just bowl. Airplane, we got you. Is a mask on the list? I'll find a hammer if you need one. Oh! It's a lantern. So much. Why? You could just. Is that like a fake crown or something? Because that'd be worth a hell of a lot of money. Ah, there's the knife. Gee. Boot. I can see why people said some of these items are just not the right sizes. But like that mask is huge in comparison to a lot of stuff. Also, that feels like it doesn't belong there. I'm really wishing I didn't have that smaller monitor now. Oh, that's just a fork. So where are the tuning fork in this mess? Why didn't I just find a... No, I found a boot, not a shoe. Ah, there's the shoe, just randomly hanging off the top of the ceiling. What's that? There's just so much weird junk. What's that teddy bear doing there? It just It's like it's just done Photoshop and randomly paste things on. Just willy nilly because it's like there's a sword just floating there. That makes no sense. That really I mean at least Sinister City made it so uh, when you got rid of most of the random garbage that it um made sense. Oh what with the playing cards were just like a tiny thing. Right, iron. How am I finding it difficult to find an iron of all things? Ah, there we go. And now I've got a tuning fork. Now that could be anywhere. And I don't know what if they've actually made a proper tuning fork or something. I don't really want to resort to like just clicking everywhere like this. But I'm so glad there's actually achievables. <laughs> I'd be going at this for a long time. Where the devil's that tuning fork? Okay, this may take a while. I apologize, I'm gonna have to make a cut here. Okay, I, I found the tuning fork. It was lying just along this. Oh. Sinister City was certainly better than this. It, it was unfair and incredibly well dickish well, let's be blunt it was pretty damn dickish about some of its um, placement why can't I take that with my bare hands I don't even know what I'm looking at can I take that with the pliers can I take it with the hammer It was like a, there's a piece of paper that basically slipped into that. Okay, so I can go there. Okay, why is this? None of these have. Oh. Normal locks. Found oh, random rope. Excellent. Wonderful. The tile stone just sitting up there. Yes, it, it, it really is. A hidden object game. Must be blunt. It... So I could click it like this, maybe? I am pretty damn certain you used the pliers to get that. So, since that's not working, what's, we've got the stone now anyway. Let's go. Stone. Okay, let me guess. Hammer it in. What 
the hell was that? Okay. It's one of those. Click it. And it changes one of the colors. Uh, there is no method to my madness. As you'd be surprised how many of these I brute force through um, random clicks. It's gonna be—I want them all lit up, isn't it? Okay. That one turns that one on the opposite one. What's that? This is a little different because um, normally in this sort of thing, um, it'll turn like the ones either side of it to a different colour or the one opposite it to a different colour. This doesn't seem to have much of a pattern. Certainly not one I can really figure it out, in all honesty. It's going to be one of those that have got a very specific pattern on how you're supposed to do it. and you. <laughs> Alright, let's reset this. And I'll have a look, and I'll catch you guys in just a minute after I try this. Because it might be me clicking around randomly for a while and trying to figure out a pang. Which is not going to be interesting for you guys to watch. Oh! Well, random brute force and clicking actually solved it for me there. That was completely unintentional. And I've also found an item. That would have rotted. That would have rotted immensely. Okay. Since the doctor disappeared, everything is falling apart. The servants are terrified, some of them even left. The, the house I heard talk, them talk about is creepy sounds and strange appearances. Some believe there's ghosts and the place is haunted, and there's some weird shadows in the cave at the, under the lighthouse. Another go to that beach in my life. So much for being a treasure hunter, then. Can't see a thing. Must think. Well, this is pretty damn obvious. Now, going out. We want to go back to that fuse box we saw earlier. And try not to electrocute myself. Can I use the pliers? Wouldn't, if, wouldn't that risk electrocuting myself? And um, wouldn't that turn off? Okay, heading back. Oops, no. Ah, this layout makes very little sense. Well, you have a fuse. Excellent. And no what? Great, and this is a bit different from the other fuse. Click any of these? Alright. Oh, you're joking. It's like one. No. That, that. Bam, bam. Really? This is just a time waster. It's not a puzzle, it's just waiting to get the pattern right. A bit of a memory test. I'm forgetting which one's the first one. Which we've already done. It's not challenging, it's merely annoying. Ah. Oh. I hope this power in the house. Um, I should do it. I hope there's power in the house now. So do I. I'm gonna leave this here, and I'll catch you guys next time as we now explore the house.